Hi guys, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Today's Testing Basics is going to be espadrilles. It was really highly, highly requested by you guys um, and I think it's a really good one to do because of just how much choice there is available. I was amazed, there was even more than I thought there was going to be. Um, not only for more specialist brands that solely focus on espadrille style shoes, but also all the major high street stores had lots and lots of different styles available. Um, so they're all flat, that was the only thing, the only category really that I did use to refine things. They're all completely flat, not flat form, they've all just got a, quite a thin flat sole. Um, I went for a mixture of ones with a fully closed back, a sling back, a tie around the ankle and I'm going to sort of talk about those in turn individually and the pros and cons of each of those styles as well but there, there's just a huge amount of choice. So. As always, I have five here from high street to high end, and the cheapest are Zara. So these were an incredibly affordable $19.99. They're also available in a tan, faux suede effect. These are faux leather, um, and then they just have the... Well, the, uh, the characteristic of an espadrille is always, obviously, this woven bottom, which all of them have, of, of course, otherwise they wouldn't really be espadrilles. Uh, so yeah, anything, the one thing that my Gucci loafers taught me is how much I love a slingback shoe. I have the slingback Gucci loafers that are my probably most worn pair of shoes I've ever had. Um, so when I saw these I thought, hmm, these, are, these seem right up my street, the kind of thing I would get on very well with. I've got these in a size 40, that's a UK size 7 which is my normal size. They fit true to size, if you had a really really narrow foot these definitely wouldn't work for you. I have relatively narrow feet but not, not exceptionally so. And I think if you did have exceptionally narrow feet, these would be ones to avoid from first impressions. Um, but yeah, they're from the basics range. So these were $19.99, super affordable. Moving up from there, we have Under the Stories. How much were these? I want to say that these are £55. Let me just double check. Yeah, £55. These are 100% leather, these ones. Um, and they're a bit of a different style. I have two pairs which are in this fully closed back style, which is something that I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But the main reason I wanted to pick up ones like this, um, and I know you can get a lot of espadrilles which have cut down a little bit lower here as well, is that for us in England, I mean, it's a beautiful day today actually, which is lovely, but it, often it's not through the summer, so the really open summery ones, we might not necessarily be able to wear as often as you can if you live in a hotter climate, or as often as you could a style like this. So these come up exceptionally high on the foot. They're an incredibly soft and supple leather, um, really, really soft. And they have this step down back feature um, like that. So they really, um, online they're styled with the back stepped down as well. So I think that's how H&M, um, sorry, how Under the Story suggests that you wear them. Uh, I'm gonna wear them both ways and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later on about how I feel about that. Uh, so yeah, these are 55 pounds. Actually, on the comment that I just made earlier about how you can get a lot of ones which sort of cut across here and are a really round toe, I don't have any styles here like that because they're not my favourites. I much prefer the other different types of styles that we've got here. Um, and as I said, there's so much choice, you really don't have to go for those ones if you're not a big fan. Moving on up from there, we have Castagna, which is how I think you say it. Now, these are a brand probably most known for the heeled wedge ones that they do a lot of people have them they do different heel heights uh, they're very like i think they do have other styles of shoes that aren't espadrilles but they're definitely mostly known for their espadrilles they have a insanely insanely large selection available i ordered mine off matches fashion they were 80 pounds cheaper than i expected them to be for some reason i had these as shoes that were in between 100 and 200 pounds in my mind so i was very pleasantly surprised by that uh, first impressions are that they feel like, oh by the way, sizing of the end of the stories, I got a 40 as usual, uh, these are also a size 40, so first impressions that they feel absolutely great, they've kind of got like a, a bend in them like this, but it still feel, just it just feels good, like it doesn't feel like a bad thing that at all, it doesn't make it feel flimsy, it just makes it feel like it's going to be a really comfortable shoe that's going to be really easy to wear, that's going to move really, really well with your foot as you walk, um, it has this kind of, it's all canvas this, so no leather, um, it has a blue canvas top here and then this woven detail with the straps that go into the ankle straps at the back of the shoe as well and then it also has a sort of sling back feature so there's quite a lot going on here with them definitely a little bit more out there than the others and not as minimal but they're a really really beautiful shoe I really like how they look um, and this further to the point that I was making about the weather in England this is the kind of shoe that I would wear on a lovely day like today 
or on holiday so I feel like I can't get as much wear of a style like this knowing what the British summer is like unless it's on a particularly nice day so that's again why I've gone for the mix of styles next up from there we have a and I really do not know how to say this brand I've just googled it and couldn't find anything on it Bal Pages Ball Pages Pages Ball Pages Bal Pages I mean, it could be any of them, any of those really. I'm just gonna pick one and stick with it. Again, size 40, true to size, ordered these off of Matches Fashion. They were a ridiculously expensive 260 pounds. First impressions of these are that they feel like something you buy on the market when you're on holiday in a Mediterranean country of some sort. Absolutely do not feel like they're 260 pound shoes. Um, at all this is another brand that is very espadrille focused i had a check on their website they have lots and lots of different styles lots of different woven shoes like this these are made of a woven hemp um and they're a completely open shoe so even more summery they have the straps going across here the detailing on them is really really beautiful straps going across here which are woven and then this black kind of string thing that attaches it all this that this was this is an awful description it kind of looks like a cross stitch basically then it has the sling back and then it has the uh little bit tie up at the front um these fit true to size the one thing that i would say and if you watch my weekly vlog you will know that i had a bit of an issue with these because um this isn't long enough the sling back isn't long enough and i don't think sizing up will fix it because the length of the shoe is perfect this is so this is a bit short so it pushes your whole foot forward and in turn pushes your toe off the end. So I've worn these a few times to see how they give. Um, but that is definitely something to bear in mind. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't think that sizing up would solve that problem. So uh, I was originally going to return them but then walked into some water and marked the bottoms of that, so I couldn't. Uh, so these are kind of off onto the wrong foot if I'm completely honest because of the issue of them being uncomfortable from the second that I tried them on and also from the fact I opened them up and thought I've just spent £260 on a shoe it feels like I could have bought it on the market so uh, these aren't off to the best start basically and finally we have Loewe at the top um, I know quite a lot of you were maybe hoping that the Chanel Espadrilles would be in here I did go and try them on I tried them on I thought that maybe I would get them but then when I looked online I felt there were so many high-end Espadrilles that are so much more stylish so much more classic feeling and just nicer than the Chanel ones um, I, really, I really didn't like them very much when I tried them on basically instead we have some from Loewe uh, these are absolutely beautiful more akin to the uh, and of the stories one in the sense that they are also the kind of loafer that is um, it's not a loafer it kind of is a loafer but the kind of espadrille that covers up your entire foot um, and I keep calling them loafers because they essentially are a hybrid between the two in fact it's got the woven bottom makes it the espadrille but the top half is very much reminiscent of a loafer also have these in a size 40 online it says to uh, size up one and when i got them i did a lot of walking around the house in them and can understand why that is suggested your toes do go to the end uh but they've given quite a bit so i will talk about it at the end but i ended up choosing to go for my normal size and not sizing up and i think that i made the right decision so I have a size 40 in them. They are the softest, softest suede ever. Just beautifully, beautifully soft. Um, and they also are designed to be wear with the step back, uh, the step down back. Not in the same way that the end of the stories are in that if I do this, that will stay there like that. Whereas if I do this with that, it's not gonna. So you would have to um, misshape the shoe quite a bit if you decided you wanna wear it like that. Uh, whereas these can be worn both ways really easily so that's something to bear in mind but online they do show them with the back stepped down so that is definitely how they intend you to wear them as well uh these were 350 pounds 100 suede loewe espadrilles so on to the next section i've been doing this one for about two weeks so i'm going to show you five outfits now but i have worn them all more than once each if i've got any photos or extra footage of that I'll pop it in at the end of the video um, but I've been wearing them at home nipping out all kinds of things like that so they've all had quite a decent amount of wear so I'm feeling like I've really got a good idea of which ones are doing well and which ones aren't but before we get to that stage I'm gonna wear them over the next five days and then I'll share those final thoughts hey guys it is a beautiful day and you can tell I have on the castagna espadrilles today with an all-white outfit feeling very sorry I've just got on some wide leg jeans from Rachel Comey uh, Comme de Garçon 
white t-shirt, super simple, but I kind of like the little red heart then with the blue on the shoes. These are so, 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 so comfortable. This is the second time I've worn them. I also wore them for a day shopping. Um, and they're really comfy. They kind of catch the tiniest bit on the back of the heel, but that would be my only complaint, and it really isn't significant at all. That's only worth pointing out if I'm being super, super picky, which I always try to be in these videos. Um, but it wouldn't, it doesn't put me off them whatsoever. It's just the smallest, smallest niggle. Yeah, they're super, super comfy. I really, really like how they look. I'm loving wearing them when it's sunny and bright and everything like that. Um, as I said, definitely more of a fair weather shoe, but they look so good for just making an outfit feel even more summery. Um, and I think they'd be a great pair for holidays as well. I definitely get a lot of wear of them when it, a lot of wear out of them when I go away. Hi guys, sorry this isn't the best angle, but I'm in Mallorca at the moment and I've had on the end of the stories espadrilles today. So I've been wearing them as the full shoe to travel in. And I'm also going to keep them on for the rest of today and wear them with the step, with the back steps down. Um, seeing as obviously it's quite a lot warmer here. They're ridiculously comfortable. Just the most comfortable pair so far. They are so, so comfortable. However, I feel like the fact that it is a, has got a back is a waste of time because it it's not annoying and it doesn't fall down but you, it feels not quite high up enough on the foot um, so that I would rather wear it with the back stepped down which then makes me think well what's the point in having the option if it isn't quite right with it up and the other thing is the leather is so soft in fact I'm going to just show you quickly now so the leather is so soft you can see where my little toe is it's going to misshape the shoe from walking um, and I've got relatively narrow feet so I think if you had wide feet while they would give and would definitely you know it would work for wide feet the shape of them would be massively massively compromised um, and I'm not sure how much of a good thing that is because the shape of them is something that I actually really like so to lose that seems a bit of a shame. Hi guys, so I've had on the um, under the stories espadrille still but with the back stepped down for the rest of the day. Just with the same Urban Outfitters jeans as the other day. Red top from under the stories and some Ray-Ban sunglasses. They're just as comfy with the back stepped down as they are with it up. Um, it doesn't rub the bottom of your feet or anything like that. So I'm really impressed with them. I much prefer how they look this way. They haven't fallen off my feet. They've just been really, really good, aside from the thing about them losing the shape. And um, I would definitely choose to wear them like this over having the back up because I said that it looked better. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed with them and just super comfy. Hi guys, I had a little weather espadrille today. I've actually just been sat by the pool, so I haven't looked like, you can't even see me, I haven't looked like this all day long. Um, I'll pop in an image of what I've had on today so you can see my full outfit for the entire day. Um, but yeah, I've had these on all day and they are so comfortable. I really do think go for your normal size because it's been quite warm today. We've walked a lot so my feet will have swollen a bit from the heat and from being on my feet and they still fit perfectly and they're still super comfortable. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say you need to size down like they sell online at all. They've been great, no complaints whatsoever. I love how they look so much. I've had compliments on them, all that jazz. Just had them on with these trousers from Hush, my H&M top, which I like pinned up, um, which you'll see in the photo. Had my low base sunglasses glasses and my Barcelona low FA bag. So low FA, low FA accessories today. But I'm really, really, really impressed with these. Love how they look. Super comfortable, easy to wear, everything like that. But think true size, in my opinion. Hi guys, I just got back home. Oh my god, I feel so rough for some reason. So apologies if I literally look like I've been dragged through head backwards because that's how I'm feeling. I've had the Zara Espadrilles on today and I've actually, this may be the third time I've worn these because I've been nipping out in them. They just happened to be living on the floor by the door just here. So whenever I've had to nip out, I keep slipping them on. But this is the first time I've properly, properly worn them. Um, they're comfortable, they're not as comfortable as the others, they're the least comfortable so far, but they're still a comfortable shoe, I would not describe them as uncomfortable whatsoever, they're just up against some pretty tough competition. The thing that makes them slightly uncomfortable is the fact that the woven raffia, sort of the espadrille aspect of the shoe, goes the whole way inside the shoe to the toe. So it kind of rubs the bottom of your toes, you know, like the fleshy bit of your toes a little bit as you're walking because it nips a bit. Um, so that's the only negative of it. And it isn't, it's not that bad. I am being super picky with it. 
Um, I do really like how they look. I wish they came up a tad higher on the foot. I think it'd make them more flattering. Um, but I feel like there's something I'm going to end up wearing a lot in the summer. Just because you can chuck them on so easily and they look really nice. So for £20, I'm impressed with them. Um, but you can definitely you definitely get more for your money with the other ones as well because they do feel more luxurious these are super 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 basic which is fine because they're doing the job and as i said they are comfortable um but i don't think i like them as much as the others as much as the others so outfit wise i've had on the urban outfits is straight leg jeans again um, a shirt from Under the Stories and my mango leather jacket super boring outfit guys i'm sorry obviously i've just been traveling Hi guys, last pair today, I've got the Baal ones on, you know the ones I mean, um, yeah they've not been that comfortable really, the sling back as at the beginning so pushes your foot forward so your toe is like being pushed over the edge of the shoe which is uncomfortable then because it's on a ridge which rubs a bit and it's also pinched by the peep toe because it's kind of being pushed further out than it should be. The sling back is definitely giving so I think with a few more wears you would get to a point where you weren't having that issue. Um, but to say you have that issue or I feel like an espadrille is such a comfy shoe naturally that it's more surprising when they're uncomfortable than when they are actually comfortable because I would expect them to be comfortable so really not good really not good for the price and even if they were comfortable they still don't feel super expensive like I've had compliments on them today and I, I like how they look but I also like how the Zara ones look for a complete fraction of the price so and uh, not my favourites. Outfit wise, I just had them on with some red Sarah jeans, skinny top from H&M and then this mango cropped kind of trench style jacket. You've probably seen this one before, I wear it quite often. So this is the last pair of shoes. On to the final thoughts. You can tell possibly which ones are going to be coming last. <laughs> so on to my final thoughts and not surprisingly, the Baal Pages ball and these ones are gonna come in last place uh firstly the, just, there's just faults in the design basically that make them uncomfortable so as i said that back strap is too short it pushes your foot forward which in turn takes your toe over the end of the shoe which isn't the most comfortable now as for wearing them this has given so i think over time these will be fine and if you really loved how they looked I can say with a relative amount of a relative amount of confidence, if you bought them and really dedicated yourself to wearing them in, you would get to a point where they were comfortable. I don't see how sizing up would really fix the issue because then I think you'd be left with a shoe that's too big. However, even if you did really like them and think you could break them in, I still don't particularly think they're worth £260. They're a beautiful shoe, I got a lot of compliments on them. I will rewear them, I will bring them on holiday with me, probably for many, many years to come. However, I could have bought these on a market in Spain, that's what I feel about them. They are a handmade shoe and they feel like a handmade shoe, that's not necessarily a negative thing, but they by no stretch of the imagination feel like a shoe that costs 260 quid. Next up from there I'm going to put Zara ones, um, because these were a really good price, they were 1999 uh, They were kind of not the best, I mean they were fine, they were fine for that price. And I mean, you can't really go wrong for that price, but again, they were kind of slightly uncomfortable. And bits of the I'll have to do a close up actually of that bits of the um woven bottom have come up on the inside. As of the day that I was wearing them, all of these have woven bottoms apart from the loeve. When I'm saying bottoms, I mean like the inside sole of the shoe. All of them apart from the loeve are, are woven, but these ones kind of rubs the fleshy part of your big toe. Um, and the other ones don't and now I'm looking in it I can see that it is kind of starting to come up a little bit on this one so the, you know they're not the best made basically they don't feel expensive but they weren't so I wouldn't ex you know that's not the end of the world basically they were 20 quid but I think with a little stretch in the budget you can definitely get something a lot better um, they look good though I do like I do really really like how they look if anything I would maybe wish that this came up a bit higher on the foot I think that's just because of how much I love the Gucci loafer. I'm always looking for something of a similar style to that. Um, but I do think they look really great and are more interesting than a fully closed back version as well. So the next ones is going to be the Under the Stories ones. Um, these I think are possibly going to be the second most worn pair for me. Again, because of what I was saying at the beginning about being able to wear shoes like this more often in England. Um, and I, I completely appreciate that if you're living somewhere with a hot climate 
this kind of a shoe is a very wintry version of an espadrille but for us over here it's quite handy having something like that now the thing that i like about it is i like the fact that you can wear it with the back up or the back down i'm a big fan of a backless shoe one of the days that i wore these it was pretty cold outside and when it's cold your feet obviously when it's hot your feet expand so when it's colder and your feet don't do that, sometimes shoes like this can be really hard to keep on, especially when this is very loose around the foot, you know, there's got no, where is that holding onto your foot? So I like the fact that it had the option to then just flick that back up and then they stayed on my feet really well. This back is slightly not high enough, so it, it, it's weird because it's like they thought, we'll design a shoe where you can wear the back up, but we won't fully commit to it because it's not quite high up enough, so it feels like it's ever so slightly falling down in a tiny tiny not uncomfortable as in a discomfort but a bit of an annoyance sort of a way nothing too serious uh, the shape of them is what i really love about them and then in the same breath the leather is so soft and so supple that if you have wide feet especially the shape would be lost of these in a breath however if you had wide feet they would be good because they will give with the width of your feet so it really swings and roundabouts with these. But overall, I think the 55 pounds are a really, really great wearable shoe. They're a cool design on the espadrille. They remind me of acne shoes. They're definitely reminiscent of that. In second place, I'm gonna put the Castagna ones. Um, will 100% be buying the wedged heel version of some of their shoes, definitely. Um, and that's obviously a huge compliment. I, in part of this video, I was in Mallorca with Liv Purvis from what Olivia did, and she had on a heeled version. And she literally wore them all day long. We walked loads. She didn't complain once. She said they were so comfortable. Absolutely loved them. So that and how much I've loved the flat pair have definitely sold me on repurchasing from this brand, which is obviously a big compliment, big thumbs up. For £80, they're amazing. They feel more expensive than the end of the stories ones. They feel more expensive than the flipping Bal, Page, whatever. They feel more expensive than those. Um, I think they're a really, really, really good shoe for that price. The back of it did pinch the tiniest, tiniest bit because there's a fold in the material at the back. Uh, but yeah, they don't rub on the bottom of the foot at all like the um, Zara ones do. The weave itself at the bottom of the espadrille just feels really, really, really nice. Um, hugely, hugely impressed by them and would purchase from the brand again. And that leaves in first place the Loewe Espadrilles. It's not too often in this series that the most expensive one wins, but these hands down stand head and shoulders above the rest. These are incredible, incredible, incredible shoes. Um, I think it's possibly partly because I'm a loafer girl more than I'm an espadrille girl. So the fact that these are a loafer style makes me really, really love them. Same with the Under the Stories one. I prefer a slightly heavier shoe, generally a slightly more masculine shoe. So these have an advantage for that in my own personal taste. Personal taste aside, I got so many compliments on these. They're so incredibly comfortable. They wear beautifully. I've not put any suede protector on these. I've worn them in the rain. They haven't got a single mark on them. Um, definitely go for your normal size. Ignore what it says online. I think these are gonna give more and more and more and they are already incredibly comfortable. Could wear these all day long. Will wear them throughout summer. You know, it's the same as the end of the stories one, basically. I think the fact that it covers more of the foot, means it's a really versatile piece and completely worthwhile spending more money on. I wore this on holiday when I was in Spain last week. I will take them away on holiday again. I will also wear them through spring. I'll wear them in the rain. I, well, I wouldn't wear them in winter, but apart from when it's really cold, they're an all-round shoe. You can wear them all year round. So they're doing everything that I want a shoe to do when I've invested in it. It's comfortable. It looks good. It styles beautifully. Every outfit that I wore, I could have worn these with. They look great with everything. So that was everything, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this, and I hope you don't mind the fact that I chose different styles. I know that a few comments in the request for, um, for this video I got were asking for um, like ones with ties around the ankle or ones without, uh, but I, th I thought it was best to do a bit of a variation because, as I said, there's so much choice out there, so it was a good way to incorporate lots of them all together. So I really hope you've enjoyed this one. I found it informative. Thank you so much for watching as always. The next one that I'm going to be doing are, is a style of dress. I've not quite decided what style, but we're going to be doing a summer dress one next. So I'll see you in the next one.